Hey everybody, Greg Cazillo here for FroKnowsPhoto.com. I am going over the way that I manage my photos and my initial uh, import or initial sort and initial workflow and steps that I take. Hopefully I can make this a quick one so that you can uh, get right to down to business. But if I go a little bit too fast, don't forget, to, don't, uh, I don't mind if we pause and then come back. All right, so here we go. Number one thing that I always do is I will uh, start off with inserting my camera card into the card reader and I don't let Lightroom automatically import my photos. I'll manually drag this DCIM folder from here right onto my drive. It's going to copy all those photos and by the way there's another video that I'll link to that goes over all the options in the import dialog box that you can use. Uh, if you need it, you can always go back and refer to it. Great video, had a lot of good information. So anyway, we're copying these photos, and I probably should have done a few less because it's taken a while, but that's okay. We're almost there. And so as it's copying, uh, I'm usually doing something else because it's usually full cards and not just empty cards with only 18 pictures. Anyway, so I've just copied those. Now, I'm going to grab this folder, and I'm going to drag, and I'm going to drop it right into Lightroom. Alright, and like I said, I'm just going to skip the options here in this dialog box and import them. Now, as I mentioned in the older uh, version of the, in the other video that I had done, uh, the first thing I do is skip down to this folder. Uh, it's just a habit, something I always do. Uh, there's some limitations with regards to the the previous import collection that's here so I always skip down to that main folder alright that is number one uh, number two thing that I do is I rename this folder um, there's no reason to create a new one I'll just rename it so I'll give it some kind of a name and I use a four digit year and a two digit uh, month and then a two digit day and then I hit underscore, and then I say Phillies game, actually Reading Phillies game. And so the middle is the subject matter, or I should say the actual subject or job name or client name, that kind of thing, last name of the client. And then the last thing is a descriptive name. So wedding, portrait, game, event, uh, whatever, product photo, whatever it may be that I'll stick on the end there. And so that's that first folder. The inside folder, I will rename it, and I will give it the same name, same pattern, but I will add raw at the end because I shoot raw. So, now I have two folders. Now, if I would have a few more folders here, again, the names will stay consistent, but they would say PSD, final JPEG, da 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 da, -da down the line. So, that's what I do. All right, next step, once that folder is renamed, is to go along and sort. All right, now sorting to me means deleting uh, some, organizing them, that kind of thing. So, first thing I'll do, make them bigger, and look at this one and say, eh, it's okay. I'll hit X to reject it, and then go to the next one, eh, it's okay. Ooh, ball's in the air. We're going to keep that one, so I'm going to hit 1 to keep that one. That ball's in the air, too. I'll keep that one. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Rejected. Ooh, sky's getting better, but don't know what's with that dude's head on the right side of the picture. Uh, so we'll reject that one. That one's a little bit better, so we're going to delete the previous one. All right, now, as you can see, let's make these thumbnails a little smaller. As you can see, we have a few that are rejected, and then all the rest of them that I kept, and some that I starred. Now, from this point, I will delete these. I'm not a fan of keeping photos that I don't need. Uh, I shoot way too many photos every single year to keep every single frame. I don't mind deleting and having them completely gone. So while I'm in this folder and I have a few of them uh, rejected, I will go up here to photo menu, photo, delete rejected photos. And that will delete the six master photos from the disk. I will say delete from disk. All right, and they're gone. Now, at this point, we have all the photos that I want to keep, so I will rename. So I will select all the photos and then hit F2 
or go up here to I forget which one it is um, 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 um. rename there it is library and rename but anyway I use the shortcut key and I have a preset set up uh, year 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 four digit year two digit, digit month uh, two digit day and then custom text which is Reading Phillies and then a number three digit number it's usually enough three digits works out well for me alright and then I hit OK and everything gets renamed I think I renamed that wrong but it doesn't matter alright so the next thing to do is to go back and rank photos now we can do that through uh, comparing we can do that through uh, any of our uh, sets of different uh, modes and screens and this and that and you can do them one by one you can do them in this compare screen uh, there's there's tons of different ways but anyway I'm gonna rank some of these as three some of them as twos that kind of thing now let's make believe that the client come back to me and they said Greg we really like this picture but that dude with the fat head over there on the right has got to go okay great well I'm going to make him a six for red that's just me I like saying okay I've got to edit the photo a little bit I've got to do some work in Photoshop so that's what I'm going to do now from this point I'm keeping all these photos I've ranked them I've sorted them the five star ones are the ones that either I really like or the client really likes but I know by seeing a red label that I'm going to have to do a little work to it. Uh, probably need to fix the white balance, probably need to, to play with a lot of stuff and just to be sure, maybe spotting it, you know, all that good stuff. Make sure everything is looking really, really good in the picture. I know we, uh, Jared doesn't like me to use the C word crop, but we'll keep it in there anyway. All right, so from this point, we want to bring our tabs back in and we want to add in our keywords, whether it's through our keywording one by one or through our keyword list. Uh, however you want to do that that's where we would add that now metadata should already be in the file and it is typically added when you import the pictures uh, and you will have a, that preset set up which I don't have selected in this catalog and so uh, I'll add it now and so it's just been added and it adds a lot of my metadata information into the file so this has been how I get my workflow going, how I keep it going, and how I sort and rank my photos uh, as well as deleting in Lightroom 3. Any questions? Hit the furrownosephoto.com forum and I'll gladly answer any of your questions. Thanks and we'll see you next Wednesday.